right before we get into the video, guys, we do have an active giveaway. Link's in the description. You can get a free gift card for Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo. So check it out below. Hello, everybody. I'm going to explain the best tactics for Assault Air Arcade and War Thunder today. Just so that way, if you're starting off and you're trying to get the best possible drops from the daily arcade modes, uh, there's a couple things you can do to try to increase your chances. There's really just a few major strategies that I'd recommend and kind of things you don't want to do. And I'll, I'll break those down. I'd say there's really, there's really two big things that are going to cost your team a lot if you do them. And I'll explain those two big things in detail and just show you the alternative. So one thing I do kind of want to say, though, before we get into this, and you'll see I'm still waiting, is that you're going to want to have some Silver Lions and just enough that you can respawn your vehicles a few times. Because you're to be playing the most efficiently, you're not going to want to land on an airfield, which means you want to have enough Silver Lions to respawn. So... That's kind of something to make sure when you're going in that you don't have, like, if you only have 2,000 Silver Lions and you can only fly one plane, well, if your plane gets shot down, then, then you can't respawn, so you're done. All right, so we're in the game now, and you'll notice there's an airfield here, which is very tempting. You can land the airfield repair, but you shouldn't do this, and I'll explain why. Um, you'll notice there's not very many people in this game with me right now. There's not many people in planes. I mean, we only got five people who are actually even in planes right now. So if... One out of five people, or maybe this is going to get bad if you have like three out of five people go and land, you only have two people attacking these planes. And if they get shot down, it actually makes it harder because now all these turrets can focus on you know, one or two planes. They're going to take more damage because there's less uh, target, uh, I mean, there's less dispersion of uh, ammo. They're all shooting the same spot. And so you want to just J out. And I mean, you, you, hit, you hold down J and you leave your aircraft, you reset. Now, it will cost you money to bring your aircraft back. And the Silver Lions is going to cost you some, which is why I mentioned earlier you want to have the Silver Lions. So it looks like I'll be able to show you an example of the number two thing to do to make sure that you can win. So these bombers, they're almost their target. They're about to drop their bombs, which is unfortunate. Um, there you go. You can see looks like... Yeah, it looks like they're dropping bombs now. So now that they drop their bombs, they're going to start kind of swerving, they're going to turn to in towards each other and start flying these kind of crossing paths. Well, you don't want to chase that because if you chase those planes, they've already dropped. They're not going to do any more damage than they've already done or than that's going to be done by the bombs falling through the air to that target. So those are no longer things you want to be chasing and it's not really worth it. You want to go engage these fresh bombers who still have their payloads and make sure that these guys don't have the opportunity to drop it. So try not to land on their fields. Try not to chase them once they drop, once you see the bombs drop out of the bomber. I know it's tempting, and they actually do that little uh, turn into it towards each other and make it harder. So it actually makes it much more difficult for you to even kill the grouping because now they're kind of split. So it's really not worth chasing that. Go ahead and just engage the bombs, but the bombers that haven't dropped. And I kind of forgot to mention this, but I'll go ahead and throw it in there. The mortars, the artillery on the ground, you want to make sure that there's not too many people going. So if you see like two people already going there, definitely don't go. Don't, you know, you don't have to spend too many resources, too many people on your team attacking those. The the bombs are really what are going to do you. In. So stay focused on the bombers. Don't land on their fields, J out. And make sure that you don't chase once they've dropped. And those, those things are going to make it. So that way you have a much better chance of winning. I hope you guys like this video. If you want any other help on War Thunder, any other advice, I've played it a lot. I'm not a great pilot necessarily. I do a lot of sim battles and lose a lot of dogfights, but I know a lot about the game at least. So, well, not about naval battles, but I know a lot about the game as far as uh, aerial battles and some tank battles go. So let me know if you have any questions. If you want to see any other explanations for things, maybe uh, where to bomb in an airfield, I'll probably make a video on that. I'll do that too, but like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.